This is one of the most dangerous transportation operations ever. Welcome back to KnowledgeWorks. Transportation isn't always done by car, plane, or train. Sometimes gigantic and dangerous things have to be transported from entire buildings to nuclear bombs. One wrong move could cost people's lives and billions of dollars. First, we have to look at Bullwinkle. This is one of the tallest structures in the world. It's an oil rig named a Bullwinkle. It's taller than the Eiffel Tower and Empire State Building, measuring at a massive 1451 things. It also required 10 times more steel than the Eiffel Tower to build. It was constructed in Texas, USA in 1988 at a cost of $500 million. It then had to somehow be transported to the Gulf of Mexico. It was transported by many ships. It was moved over 350 miles to its resting location. The Bullwinkle legs were then filled with water. The 50,000 tumbleweeds calls and sank to the ocean floor. And that's the bridge remains operational to this day, pumping out 59,000 barrels of oil on a daily basis. Next, we have to look at this nuclear bomb being transported. If you think your job is stressful, imagine if you had to transport a nuclear bomb. One wrong move could cost people's lives. Transporting a nuclear bomb is a logistical nightmare. Highly modified secure tractor trailers are used when they're going to be transported is top secret. Sometimes they're moving actual bombs and other times they're moving enriched uranium or plutonium. These are escorted by the military and armed federal agents. This is mainly to make sure the cargo isn't stolen. Many rogue groups and countries want to get their hands on nukes. If a nuke was stolen, it would mean catastrophe. So surprisingly, nukes are moved on the regular roads, the same ones you and I drive on. However, the US government has many secret trucks used to do this. These trucks are very inconspicuous and basically hide in plain sight. One day in the UK, a protester stepped in front of a nuclear transportation convoy. This was a protest against needs. But the protester was quickly arrested, and the nukes were taken to a secure location. Now let's look outside the Fairmont Hotel. I bet you've never seen an entire building be transported all at once, let alone a gigantic hotel. The Fairmont Hotel is a historic hotel found in San Antonio, Texas. The brick building weighs 1650 tons. The building was going to be demolished as the land had been sold. But some San Antonio residents wanted to save this building. So on March 30, 1985, the historic building was moved. It took six entire days. Hundreds of people were involved and the whole city shut down for this to happen. Many said it couldn't be done. The building was lifted onto hydraulics and then moved on a massive dolly system. The dollies had 288 tides. A crane was then used to pull the building down the ropes. In total, the entire operation took 132 hours and the hotel still sits in the spot it was moved to. To this day, operation success. Now we have to look out for Baga to 88. The Baga to 88 is a gigantic mining excavator. It has a height of 90 meters and a length of 220 meters, making it the biggest piece of machinery in the entire world. They were going to dismantle it and rebuild it in the new location, but they soon realized it would be cheaper to move the entire thing. So it was moved using large tank tracks. This machine is so big it needs five operators. To give you an idea of how big this thing is, its length is more than two football fields. It was moved 14 miles away. In total, it took over three weeks. It had to cross highways, railways, and rivers. The move also cost over $9 million. The Baga 288 was moved to El Stauffer, Germany, where it's used in the Hambach surface mine to this day. Moving on, let's look at the Troll. A platform Troll A is a massive natural gas platform. It's the tallest and heaviest thing ever moved by man. It can be found off the west coast of Norway, and it's the largest offshore gas platform in the world. It was towed into the North Sea in 1996. It stands at a height of 1549 feet and weighs over 683,000 tons. Its concrete legs touch the seafloor nearly 1,000 feet below the ocean surface. Each of these legs uses 640 meter long anchors. These hold it as a base of the seafloor, making the Troll A incredibly secure. Troll A cost $700 million to build and $50 million to transport into the sea. Next, let's look and see. Some Mega Jack Jacks are used for moving oil tankers to them. Mega Jack by Ale, the biggest jack in the world. The Mega Jack system can lift an entire oil rig all at once. The Mega Jack can be found in South Korea. It's a Mega Jack. It's made up of four towers and one gigantic steel platform. The Mega Jack lifted a 60,000 ton oil rig. The lift took 11 hours. 
The oil rig was then put on a barge and taken to its location. This was off the east coast of Russia. Next, let's look at how power line towers are moved. You may think power line towers are built on site, but they're actually built in a factory far away. They're then transported to their location using helicopters. This is a very dangerous operation. Conditions have to be perfect. One wrong move could cause the tower to drop and the helicopter to crash. The pilot also has to be very precise. If these power line towers are put in the wrong place, they won't work. It's going to cost around $1 million to move one of these power line towers. Now let's look at the Antonov AN-225. This plane doesn't look real, but it is. It's the largest aircraft ever built. This massive cargo plane was first developed in the 1980s. In 2016, the Antonov transported a 117-ton generator to Perth, Australia. The plane is also capable of carrying 10 battle tanks. Only one of these planes was ever built. But sadly, in 2022, this plane was destroyed. It had been stationed at Antonov Airport in Ukraine, but the plane was destroyed by the Russian military during the invasion. Finally, let's look at these helicopters lifting a ship. It said this transportation operation took place in China. A cargo ship was moved by various helicopters. A small cargo ship like this can cost around $145 million, meaning that if any of these helicopter pilots made a mistake, it would cost a pretty penny. But now, it's time for you to make your voice heard comments below. Which of these transportation operations was the most impressive? And if you haven't already, then what are you waiting for? Subscribe to KnowledgeWorks.